close your eyes and watch your breath. Think thoughts of goodwill for yourself, things and other people, other beings, all beings. And then think thoughts of gratitude. Gratitude is something different. Gratitude is for people who've gone out of their way to help you. And as the Buddha said, gratitude is a sign of a good person. It shows that you appreciate goodness, you appreciate how difficult it can be sometimes to do what, you're, what someone's duty is or to do what the good thing is. And so you want to appreciate that. If you appreciate that, it shows that you have the potential of being a good person yourself. As we're born into this world, we can't depend on ourselves. We have to depend on our parents, our mother, our father. As we grow up, our teachers, anyone who's gone out of his or her way to help us. We have to really appreciate that help. And this is what keeps human society going. Without a sense of gratitude, why would anyone bother helping anybody else? You see this all over. Children mistreating their, mistreating their parents, students mistreating their teachers, people going out of their way to help someone, and then the person who's been helped acts as if it was their right or their entitlement. If that's the way people behave, after all, people won't feel like they want to help anybody anymore. So this is what keeps society going. This is what keep, makes human society human, as opposed to an animal society, our sense of gratitude. So try to cultivate it as much as you can. It's just time to, it's good to take time every day. Today is a special day. Once a year they have Thanksgiving. But actually it's good every day to stop and think about who you depend on or who you have depended on in the past. The help you receive from them and your desire to repay them. Now some people are still alive and you can repay them with your kindness and your help. Other people have passed away. Well, you try to repay them by carrying on the tradition of going out of your way to help somebody, to be a benefactor. What goes around comes around. So make sure you're sending good things around. And appreciate the good things that come to you. Pass them on with a sense of respect. Because this is the other aspect of gratitude. You respect the people who've helped you. As John Fuller once said, respect is a sign of intelligence. If you show respect to other people, they're more likely to share their wisdom, share their knowledge with you. And you respect them for the help they've given in the past. So these qualities, goodwill, gratitude, respect, they all go together. And they're what makes human society livable. The fact that we've been able to work together as human beings, we've developed culture, we've developed civilization. We have the culture of the noble ones that's still alive. Again, that's something that has depended on all the goodness of many, many generations of people back to the Buddha. And the people who helped the Buddha become Buddha on his way. So that's a tradition that's worth keeping, keeping alive. And think of all the other good traditions we have in human society. It's because human beings work together and have a sense of harmony that these good traditions get passed down. Otherwise they get lost, they get forgotten, and it's as if they had never been. So try to develop these qualities in your heart. Nurture them every day. Because they lead both to goodness and to happiness. In the Buddhist point of view, our search for goodness and our search for happiness are not two different things. They have to be the same for either of them to succeed.